Hi, this is my video on the Pro Float floating hand grip. Now, this also comes under another name on Amazon as the Mi Premium floaty hand grip. And you get this hand grip in various colors, um, in blue, green, orange, rose red, and yellow. And this hand grip costs $10.99 from Amazon. Now, as you see, it comes in a packet like this. And I'll quickly go around. We have Pro Float floating hand grip at the top, the various colors that it comes in. And it says here, waterproof, compatible with all GoPro Hero cameras and other action cameras. And on the back here, it just shows you how you can directly connect your GoPro or action camera to it. Um, the accessories that come, which is a lanyard and a carabiner. And this has a compartment inside this. So a top that can be removed, well, a bottom that can be removed. And it just shows you the buoyancy and how it will float with your camera on there. So that's what's written on the back. And just this notification here about avoiding that suffocation if you let little children play with this bag. And that's what's written around on this packet. These are the items that you get with inside there. You get a kind of gold colored looking carabiner, which is a small one made out of aluminium. So you get that. You get a lanyard in there, plain black lanyard, wrist lanyard with a lockable and adjustable um, clip on there so you can tighten it to your wrist or loosen it to your wrist. So you get that in there as well. And we have the hand grip itself and we get a GoPro thumb screw at the top. And this seems like, oh, it is not. So this is one you've got to be aware of. This particular nut is not glued in to the top here. So you have to be aware of that. It is not glued in, so you have to be careful. So when you are going to screw your camera um, using the thumb screw, I suggest you keep one finger on the nut here while you are screwing in the camera, tightening the camera up into the GoPro pins there. So be aware of that. Now, the actual handle doesn't, it's this kind of foam rubber, I would say. It's not like an actual rubber like the cam kicks or the shoot, uh, even different to the shoot, uh, rubber floaty hand grips. This is a kind of foam rubber, it's still grippy. And I'd suggest, and I think that the actual diameter of the actual um, grip is is one of the thickest. This feels as thick as the Cam Kicks one in diameter, so it's quite thick. But the actual surface and feel of the rubber films kind of foam like, got a kind of foam. There's a bit of a squeeze to it, but it feels foam like. Now, according to them, the bottom comes off. Take the bottom off. And as you can see, plainly see on here, we've got two rubber gaskets here. We've got a large one here and a smaller one at the top. So we've got two there and we've got a chamber inside so you can put things like your money or an extra card in there. Uh, micro-memory micro, um, card in here. 
a micro SD card, sorry, in here, or your ring you can store in here. So that's a nice little compartment, and that simply screws on the end. Now, as I says, you get these in various colors, and looking at the pictures of the other colors, the top still remains in a black color. It's the bottom that changes into different colors that you can get, which you can get in um, blue. So this would be in blue, green, or orange as what we got here, or rose red or yellow. So I always suggest if you're going to open large bodies of open natural water like the sea, rivers, lakes, I suggest you get the lightest color that you can get. So like the oranges and the yellows, I would get them. The green looks like a very light color as well, I'd get that. If you're gonna go into swimming pools, um, whether public swimming pools or private swimming pools, um, then I would get the darker colors, uh, like the blue and the rose red. I, I would get that for, th for them. If you're gonna solely take them, use that in bodies of water like pools. So be aware of that. So I'll show you what it's like with the camera on there. Now this is how it looks with all the bits fitted on there, all the accessories fitted on there, such as the carabiner and the wrist strap and my GoPro um, Hero 7 fitted on there. Now it is not a bad um, floaty hand grip. As I says, um, the thickness of it, the diameter of the unit itself is quite good. I'd think it's more of a better hold feeling with this than the shoot um, floaty hand grip. Um, I think it's a better holding one than that. The only thing which I personally do not like is this kind of foam rubber um, textured covering what they've put around it. It has got some grippiness to it, I give it that, but this foam type rubber I really do not like. I don't like this type, I like it to be actual rubber itself rather than this foam one, foam grip. So my conclusion, my thoughts about this hand grip. I think for its price at, 90, uh, at £9.99, it's not a bad hand grip um, to take um, with you when you're going near any body of, any uh, bodies of water. Um, it is not bad. As I said before, um, if you're going into open water, uh, large bodies of water like lakes, rivers, um, the, the sea, I'd go stick with the lighter colors um, on the bottom rather than the, ro the rose red and the blue because uh, you could spot them in the ocean more because you have to bear in mind when this goes into water, it's not gonna float like this. It's gonna more or less float upside down like so and only this part would probably be showing. So the lighter the color, the better off you can see it. Um, if you're taking it strictly for bodies of water inside buildings, like uh, pools or swimming pools, um, then I would you can go with the other colors because most pools are tiled in a kind of white um, tiling or light blue tiling. So you could see the other colors, no problem. So um, that's me thought on this. Uh, another thing I did find um, about this is the, it could be just this particular make, uh, this particular handle itself, rather than the whole range, but it was a bit of a struggle fitting the GoPro um, case with the GoPro in, into these teeth here. It was a bit of a struggle fitting in there. It was a little bit small, but I managed to get the GoPro in. 
Another thing to be aware of is the nut. As you can see earlier on in the video, the nut came out. So this nut is not glued in. So you've got to be aware of that. So if you're going to fix your GoPro camera on there, I suggest um, you hold the nut, fit the camera in, hold the nut in place, then tighten it up like that so you do not lose that nut. Because once you lose that nut, I think you can able to get them on eBay, but whether it's the right size not to fit into that uh, recess is another thing. So be aware of that. But otherwise, for a floaty hand grip from Pro Float or My Premium, as it's known on Amazon, it's not bad for the price. Especially how it's got its compartment here, as many of them do not have a, well, they have the compartment, but this is not removable. So it is not bad, but I would still look at the Cam Kicks premium floaty hand grip, because I'd still think out of all the ones that I have so far um, reviewed, that one has come up as the best. Anyway, if you have this particular froaty hand grip, please leave a comment down in the comment section what you thought about it, especially this rubber texture on there. Um, please let us know about it. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, leave a thumbs down. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.